There are only 24 hours left in the Missouri legislative session, and lawmakers have still not agreed on a new congressional map. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon is live at the state capitol where she's been watching the Senate all day, and maybe that news is about to change here soon. And they're the ones that have to figure this whole issue out now, Hannah. The Senate is debating the issue right now. Election officials, though, are saying the uncertainty could mean trouble for the upcoming August election. Deb Lucas, I just left the Senate chamber, and in there they are debating the map. They just brought it up to the floor and bypassed the committee meeting that was scheduled yesterday and then rescheduled for today, but hasn't happened. They're, when I left, they were debating um, how upset some members of the Senate were because they didn't receive a printed-out copy of the Senate substitute that was introduced to the floor. Now, the person who introduced it is saying that this is the same version that passed out of the map that we talked about on Monday. It passed out Monday. It has a couple of splits, and it splits Boone County right through Columbia. But they did not print out all the maps for all of the senators to see, so some of them were upset about that, and that's what was happening when I left the chamber. Earlier today, I spoke with some election officials about why they're nervous about these maps passing in time for the primary elections in August. The main thing that we're concerned about right now is the uncertainty. Boone County Clerk Brianna Lennon tells me she's worried her office won't know which congressional districts will go through Boone County. Time is running out for her office to prepare for the August primary election. We need to have enough time to make all of those adjustments uh, in our system so that when we send out ballots or when you go to a polling place in August for your ballot, we give you the right one. I, I don't know that it can be done without errors, unfortunately. Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft tells me even if a map is passed and signed into law before the end of session tomorrow at 6 p.m., it would only give county clerks about a week to make all the necessary adjustments. Uh, if the legislature adjourns, which it has to at 6 o'clock on the 13th and has not created a map, I'm sure those lawsuits will continue, but it's too late. The state, ha the state court doesn't have the authority to redraw a map. The federal court does but it's been told not to by the United States Supreme Court, and it's too late for us to redraw a map and implement it in time for our August primary. And Ashcroft tells me that if a map is not finalized here in the Capitol by the end of session, then the old maps that were made 10 years ago will be used for the August primaries. We're running live from the state Capitol. I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. All right, Hannah, thank you. Now, all legislation's got to be passed by 6 p.m. tomorrow.